What up, nerds? My name is Nikki, and yes, I do have a lot of hashtag problems. Why do you ask? Hold up! I'm gonna put a trigger warning here, because I can see this setting off a lot of knee-jerk reactions. I don't talk about anything controversial, but I will be talking about how to handle controversial things. So there, you have been warned. Now that I have warned you, the viewer, you cannot blame me for any damage feels. What's that? They're gonna blame me anyway. Oh. Whatever, roll the intro anyway. This week, my advice to you is to keep calm and don't argue the fool. Proverbs 26.4 tells us, Do not argue the fool by his folly, lest you also be like him. And boy, if I can make this a meme and all memes, I would make it a meme that could eat Grumpy Cat, just devour him. It would be one of the three concrete rules of the internet, right between all hail social media and, of course, all hail cats. My friends, the internet is a dangerous place, filled with memes and screaming goats and, worst of all, opinions. Yes, due to the lack of accountability, the internet is quite literally flooded with completely biased, unspell-checked, frivolous opinions. Some of them reasonable, most of them not, and all of them hot to the touch. And usually, when these opinions are expressed, wildfires ensue. Wildfires that look like 243 comments by the same three people. So what can be done to avoid such superficial nonsense? Just don't engage. It's as simple as that. And I know, it's hard. The other person is just so wrong and you're so right and you need to stop this evil from spreading. If things like this are left unchecked on the internet, what's going to happen when they leak into real life? And are you really going to sit there and in years to come say that you could have stopped this but you didn't? Or are you going to take action? You need to go. You need to get into the comment section of the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge and stop this madness before someone gets hurt. Stop. You inserting yourself into that conversation is going to do more harm than it will good. Here's why. You are arguing with a screen. It is often said that people say on the internet what they wouldn't dare say in real life. This is truth if I ever heard it. So then it makes sense that if you only say on the internet what you would say in real life, that all problems in the world should be solved, right? Someone call out Gore. Global warming? No longer a thing. Except that in real life, actual words spoken are only about 30% of the conversation. There's still body language and tone of voice, things that can't be communicated through a 50 character Facebook post. So stop me if you've never heard this one. You're texting your friend and she says something a bit sassy and you instantaneously come up with, like, the wittiest response ever. Like, we're talking Marvel-level banter here. You gotta jump on this. This never happens in real life. So you shoot it back out to her, and she texts you back saying, like, how dare you say that about my mother? Doesn't talk to you for another 30 years. Yeah, it's because you weren't there with your witty, dime a dozen personality to let her know it was all a joke. Words are given life through you. When you're not there, they are dead. Just part of a screen. So you're not arguing with a person, you're arguing with the note that they left. You're arguing with someone who doesn't really care. Guys, let's be honest. Do you really think if the person cared that much about the topic they were defending, they'd be doing it in the comments of a Tumblr post? Or, let's turn it around. Say someone kidnaps your grandma. Would you go to a Reddit forum and hashtag complain about it? No, of course not! You'd be on the streets, hashtag saving grandma, Batman style! You are arguing with a person. Yeah, 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 I know that I said earlier that you weren't, but for the sake of the point, let's just say that I'm really dumb and that's not true. Or let's say that you were arguing with the note by leaving more notes. Eventually, the person who left the first note is going to find the ones that you left, and they're going to have all of the feels. All 256 of them. Seriously, the words that you throw out there, people actually read without the context of your presence. So it's left up to their imaginations. And people always imagine the worst. Things escalate, shots get fired. People get hurt. Actually hurt. And for what? You're not gonna win. There's nothing to win. And even if there was, you get nothing from winning. Guys, leave it be. Keep calm. Don't argue the fool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks to Katrina Kameez, who was behind the camera, or as you guys know her, the sinner. We threw the blue shell. In the comments, on the Facebook, in the email, tell me what you'd like to hear in future videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, I'm always watching. And if you like my face, and the sound of my voice, no one blames you. Click the link in the description to be taken to my second channel, Nick Mike Paddywhack. And lastly, 
Don't forget that you have a great God. He is with you every step that you take.